Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and we have created it using Paint 3D and PowerPoint. I hope you will like it. So please go to our channel, subscribe, like, join membership and enjoy the videos. So let's jump into the tutorial. The very first step is to create a beautiful background and here we will use this nice image in the background. Let's create an overlay with the help of this rectangle. Remove its outline and fill dark color. Increase the transparency so that you will get this beautiful background look. Just lock this layer. If you don't have this feature, then just ignore. Now insert this circle at the center because this will be the main, you know, main shape and this will be the center of our infographic. Now we just need to go to the format shape, click on gradient and we will fill a nice yellow and orange gradient here. Gradient looks good and you just need to play with the transparency so that you will get this very vibrant looking sun at the center. You can call it sun and let's try a gradient outline as well. I don't think it will look good here but let's try first, always try, always experiment. So here let's pick a dark gray color on one of the gradient stop and on the second gradient stop pick a light gray color and increase the width and let's see and then duplicate this circle and fill a black color and move it to the center. Now we will create a shadow. So here is a trick to create a shadow insert this rectangular box and make sure its height is in line with the circle just rotate it by like 45 degrees and fill the gradient color and make sure the gradient type is linear and fill black color on both the gradient stops on the first gradient stop increase the transparency to 100 percent and on the second you can keep it like 40 to 70 percent and bring this circle to the front and you will get this shadow on the left side. Slightly increase the size of the base circle, the gradient, the sun. I am just slightly adjusting the darkness of this shadow effect. Now duplicate this black at the center and reduce its size a bit and move it to the center and fill a dark color and you can always go to this more color option to get uh, the color of your choice and this is I think looks good I think it needs to be more darker I'm not getting the color that I want I want this to be black but less black than the background circle slightly reduce its size Go to shadow, apply shadow and we will pick the shadow color to this vibrant orange color. Then it will give us a very nice glow on the outline. This glow looks good. It's very subtle. You can always increase the transparency and play with that. And until you get the right output. Now go to insert. I'm pretty sure till now everything is clear to you and it's very easy so here i have changed the color to yellow because i think this is the color that we need here and it looks much better than the previous color go to next slide and we will create a text box so insert this rounded rectangle click on gradient fill and on the first gradient stop fill this black color on the second let's see what we can do here I think this glow red is looking nice just duplicate this and place it on the top and fill white on the first gradient stop and increase the transparency to 56 on the first and 100% on the second and move these both the sliders to the left at 27 or 25 percent position then you can adjust the transparency and you will get this very beautiful look. 
just group these both the items align center first and now you can paste the text box on the infographic on the first slide and you can adjust the height and width according to the content you want to place just look at your pointers and see how much the space they are going to take and then accordingly you can increase the height of these text boxes and then you can place it uh, like this so it's totally up to you how you want to place these text boxes i am creating this five points infographic so i'm going to place these text boxes like this and i'll place one at the center at the bottom but if you want to keep it like six then you can place two at the top so here you can experiment and let's fill a few icons here so these are inbuilt icons you don't have to look elsewhere so let's pick some five to six nice icons five for the text boxes and one for the middle so these are just random icons and and keep watching this video because in the end we will add a 3d shape here with the help of paint 3d so right now we have started i mean recently we have started using 3d components in our powerpoint because in powerpoint you have this option to add 3d elements so why not use these 3d elements to make your slide look good so if you're watching this video please subscribe and hit the like button now place these icons on the text box so i have created this infographic in yellow and orange theme but you can design it in, in your own color scheme like blue and pink or blue or purple green and blue so you can try different you know color packs so make sure the icon at the center the size is different from the other icons on the text boxes we're also focus on the alignment which is very important now let's create a shape for our cent for our circle at the center and for that you need to copy that black circle and paste it here and with the help of this curve tool you need to design a curve i don't know if this curve is visible to you so this is how you can create this curve now select both the shapes and intersect and you will get this pattern here and place this at the center and change the color to white so that you can see it and select it and place it at the center like this increase the transparency so that the icon is visible and we will bring this icon to the front and also i've changed the color of this shadow on the circle at the center And you can play with these sliders always every time you'll get a different effect so i'm just keeping it like four point infographic initially i was thinking of designing it for five point but if i just look at the space the way i've designed it i think four looks good for now otherwise i need to readjust the space and let's insert the text box so you are the master of it you know it how to do it so just always focus on the text styling it's very important so i've used the gray color so that it looks like it's a part of this you know this design this base and then you can add the text boxes on each of these placeholders and it's very easy just copy paste align at the center make sure the color is fine and it's looking good so that's all you need always try to use the right font size that's visible on a full screen so here i have fast forwarded the video because the steps are repetitive and now you can group the items you can always press ctrl g to group and ctrl shift g to ungroup so please subscribe to our channel join the membership if you haven't done it till now and let's do some more fun for the aesthetic purpose and then we will move forward to the paint 3d so let's insert this circle as well fill black color remove outline increase transparency and place it like this let's insert one more circle
and keep two gradient stops keep the colored gradient stop on the left white on the right and pick this yellow color from the theme on the white increase the transparency about 50 percent and move it to the half of this gradient stops length so you will get this glow kind of effect this is what is needed so currently the glow is very strong we need to make it lighter so then you can always play with the transparency and let's move it to the send it to back behind this main infographic circle and just duplicate and we just need to change the color everything is in place let's place it here and then from the selection pane you can move it downwards currently the glow is very harsh we need to make it light so just increase the transparency so this glow effect really helps in making it look more dynamic and gives that depth effect and here at the center i can write anything i want so let's write out brand name creative venus and you can always subscribe like share and join the membership to support us and yes do not forget to download this presentation slide from the g drive link provided in the video description and here you can play with the color so i'll keep it black simple just increase the transparency so that it looks like it's written on this yellow circle So now everything is fine let's open paint 3d and here i have just practiced a couple of 3d shapes so just go to 3d shapes and let's insert this shape hemisphere just draw this hemisphere go to edit color and change the color to black pick gloss as a color type just paste it here yep just rotate it like this so this is an actual 3d element in a powerpoint let's bring all these elements to the front and with the help of this paint 3d you can create this central piece of attraction slightly change the color so that it's visible so i hope you like this design so here is the final output so this is looking really beautiful just download it from the g drive link put it in the video description and just do subscribe to our channel hit like and share join the membership and share your comments if you have any thoughts any question i will i will always try to answer so we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye enjoy